Om Namah Shivaya students. Today we are going to start with class 11 political science part B chapter 1 part 3 political theory and introduction. In the previous session students we have learned about the political theory and what we uh, what do we learn in political theory. In this session we will be learning about putting political theory into practice. In this textbook we confine ourselves to one aspect of political theory that which deals with the origin, meaning and significance of political ideas that we are familiar with such as freedom, equality, citizenship, justice and development, nationalism, secularism and so on. When we begin a debate or argument on any topic, we usually ask what does it mean and how does it matter. Political theories have asked what is freedom or equality and provided diverse definitions. Unlike in mathematics where there can be one definition of a triangle or a square, we encounter many definitions of equality or freedom or justice as advocated by the political theorist. Now let us uh, read and see how Socrates a political theorist achieved this. Well said Cephalus, I replied but as concerning justice what is it? To speak the truth and to pay your debts no more than this. And even to this are there not exceptions? Suppose that a friend when in his right mind has deposited arms with me and he asks for them when he is not in his right mind. Ought I to give them back to him? You are quite right, he replied. But then I said, Speaking the truth and paying your debts is not a correct definition of justice. And instead of saying simply as we did at first that it is just to do good to our friends and harm to our enemies. We should further say it is just to do good to our friends when they are good and harm to our enemies when they are evil. Yes, that appears to me to be the truth. So this is how Socrates have tried and justified the definition of justice. So justice what uh, according to Socrates the justice is? Justice according to Socrates is doing good to the friend who is in good intention and uh, doing harm to the enemy when they are evil to you. This is what has been coined as the definition of justice put forward by the Socrates. So students till now what we have understood is putting political theories into practice is that uh, for the democratic ideals such as economic, justice, secularism or uh, socialism many definitions are there put forward by different political theorists of the time according to their interpretation and understanding. This is because terms like equality concerns our relationships with other human beings rather than with things. Human beings unlike uh, things have opinions on issues like equality and many opinions need to be understood and harmonized. How do we go about doing this? Let us begin with our common experience of equality in different Places. Now let us try different uh, interpretations of uh, uh, equality as an understanding of a democratic ideal. You may have noticed that people often jump the queue in shops or doctors waiting room or government offices. Sometimes those who do so are told to get back in their line and we feel glad. Sometimes they get ahead and we feel cheated. We resent this 
because we all want equal opportunity to get goods and services for which we are paying. So, when we reflect our experience, we understand the equality means that equal opportunity for all. At the same time, if there are separate counters for the old and disabled, we understand that such special treatment may be justified to them. So, this is different interpretation of equality as put forward by the political theorist. We made if the people suffer from some disability, we want special provisions made for them. But when we cannot even afford basic, uh, when people cannot afford basic needs, for them only equal opportunity is not enough. We must be enabled to go to school or get help through proactive measures such as uh, fair distribution of resources, jobs, decent wages, subsidized uh, hospitals, etc. This requires that some agency be made responsible to ensure fairness. So, the reason we So, the reason we have many definitions is because the meaning of equality is dependent on the context. What kind of equality is needed? We started with what is meant for ourselves and then proceeded to consider others, the poor, the disadvantaged, seniors, citizens, etc. We discovered many layers of meaning of equality. We have been doing political theory without realizing it. Political theorists Clarify the meaning of political concepts by looking at how they are understood and used in ordinary languages. They also debate and examine the diverse meanings and opinions in a systematic manner. When is equality of opportunity enough? When do people need special treatment? How far and how long should such a special treatment be given? Should poor children be given midday meal to encourage them to stay in school? These are some questions which they address, who address the political theorist. As you can see, these issues are eminently practical. They provide guidelines for framing public policies on education and employment. As in the case of equality, so also in the case of other concepts of political theorist engage with everyday opinions, debate possible meanings and thrash out policy options, freedom, citizenship, rights, development, justice, equality, nationalism, secularism are some of the concepts that we will discuss in the following chapters in the course book. Now, let us uh, read the box to ensure this understanding of the political theorists in regard to the political ideas. Then to injure a friend or anyone else in, uh, is not the act of just man, but of the opposite, who is the unjust. I think that what you say is quite true, Socrates. And he who is most skillful in preventing or escaping from a disease is best able to create one. True. And he is the best guard of a camp who is best able to steal a march upon the enemy. Certainly. Then he who is good keeper of anything is also a good thief. That is supposed is to be inferred from the context. Now then if the just man is good at keeping money, he is good of stealing it that is implied in the argument. So, these are the work of the political theories uh, and uh, to make the concepts of the uh, concepts related to the politics clear to the ordinary individuals and in variety of uh, ways, in variety of opinions 
we are getting to know the ideas clear to us. In the next session, uh, part B, chapter 1, part 4, political theory and introduction, we will conclude with Om Namah Shivaya.